Now we're going to give the planter a quick walk around, look at the different components on the 4900 series planter that make up the system of planting, insecticide, fertilizer. So we're going to start up here on the tongue of the planter and look at the 24 volt alternator that produces the power to run the seed meters and our insecticide and any other type of option we may have on the planter. The alternator is hydraulically driven. It's running off the remote of the tractor. It takes about seven gallons per minute to operate the alternator. Above the alternator, you can see the 12 volt batteries. These are just common garden tractor type batteries. The planter does not run off the batteries. Basically what the batteries are for are just to take out the high spikes and the low valleys that the alternator could produce during startup or shutdown. The next module in the system is our master module. Uh, the master module is basically the brains of the entire planter. It controls everything from the work lights to the fertilizer all through the master module. And as we can see, there are circuit breakers underneath the cover. Uh, we have a circuit breaker for left and right main power. We also have circuit breakers for the work lights, uh, an internal master module circuit breaker, our solenoids, which are for our folding functions, and also for a tow light or trailer light package. Also located on the master module is our USB port. The USB port is used when there is a software upgrade for any module on the planter. We don't need an external source to physically upgrade the software. It is all done with a jump drive inserted into the USB port on the master module and then we can update it at any time. Following the master module, the next module in the system is our row unit module. And we can see the row unit module on the toolbar right behind part of the manifold system for our fertilizer. The row unit module controls two rows. So on a 16 row planter, we will have eight row unit modules. The row unit module physically sends the signal then to our meter drive modules, which we will look at next. Each row unit has a motor drive module. This is the physical module that is driving the electric 24 volt motor on each meter and it controls meter RPM along with uh, different other characteristics. Another option on the 4900 series planter is liquid fertilizer. As we can see here, the inferral fertilizer system is a manifold type fertilizer and it, once again it is controlled through our master module and we make our adjustments from the display in the cab of the tractor. In the system itself, we have shutoff valves for each row, so when our sections are shut off by our auto swath system, the fertilizer is also shut off for that row. From the auto shut off, it goes, we can follow this line down to our flow sensor. Each row has its own flow sensor, so if we have some type of blockage on any row, we will be alarmed on the display that we have a flow issue on a specific row. A really neat feature of the 4900 series planter is the little red button that everyone asks about on each row unit. By pushing the red button, we can make the seed meter run and drop seed. We can make our fertilizer on that row actually drop our fertilizer into the furrow and along with that, by pushing the red button, we can actually make our insecticide meter uh, disperse insecticide. This is used, you know, different ways, but mainly as a technique to make sure everything is working properly on a row-by-row -row basis.